Hello everyone and welcome back to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the drug sildenafil also known as Viagra also known as the little blue pill also known as old man's best friend also known as sildena fills up the penis with blood this drug is classified as a PDE5 inhibitor and is given for erectile dysfunction and pulmonary hypertension it cannot be given with other antihypertension meds like nitrates or nitroglycerin. In pregnant women, its safety has not been confirmed. Now, this drug binds to and inhibits phosphodiesterase 5. Now, normally, phosphodiesterase 5 acts to break down our vasodilatory second messengers, like cyclic GMP, that are in our smooth muscle cells. This cyclic GMP normally tells our protein kinase G to lower our calcium levels in the cell, which results in vasodilation, aka an erection. But PDE5 takes away the cyclic GMP and turns it into 5' prime GMP, which constricts our blood vessels and limits blood flow. Therefore, this will lead to limpy, soft erections. When we inhibit our phosphodiesterase 5 eraser, we keep more of this cyclic GMP or this vasodilatory second messenger and it'll tell our protein kinase G to stop calcium influx and our smooth muscle cell will relax. When we relax, it causes an increase in blood flow to the corpus cavernosum of the penis which leads to a more erect penis that will stay harder for a longer period of time, pun intended. You should be aware that this drug will lower the blood pressure drastically when taken with nitroglycerin for chest pain. This drug is metabolized by the liver and has effects that last for around three to four hours. If your patient has an erection that lasts longer than three to four hours, they must call emergency services. The side effects of this drug may include headache, flushing, nosebleeds, and insomnia. Some commonly tested material about this drug is that it is a PDE5 inhibitor that will increase the frequency and firmness of erections. Sildenafil should not be taken with other nitrates. And lastly, if you have an erection that lasts for more than four hours, please contact emergency medical services. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.